Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're gonna to take a look at the energy of the next 48. So I already have the cards out right here, of course, cause we're getting glitches in my computer. So let's go ahead and get started. If there's any information that you need to contact me or anything that is in the description box, along with the information for the mini readings that is pinned in the first comment. Okay. So the overall energy I use today for the moonology, they were calling to me. So I use the moonology for the overall energy of this next 48 hours the surrounding you Aries. Okay. So the first card we have out is a new romantic cycle begins new moon in Libra. The next one that we have is a time to give rather than to take. Okay, here goes the clutching again. <laughs> oh, goodness. A time to give rather than to take new moon in Virgo. And then we have a personal issue reaches a resolution full moon in Cancer. And then we have, you are very close to achieving your goal, gibbous moon. So it means that you're on the right path. So this could all resonate for you, or you could be one of each. Okay. So does, I'm going to say this heavy on the new romantic cycle. Okay. And I'm going to show you why I pulled some Kipper, some Kipper cards. The first card that came out was the lovers. I clarified it, the three of wands manifestation of love is coming in. It is prevent presenting itself to someone. Okay. The next card came out was the main female, the page of cups. Page of cups is also a new, a newer love card. So somebody re expresses love, expresses emotions to you, um, fondness, likeness, you know, something here where somebody is telling you something sweet. It could even be, I miss you. Um, but it seems like there's a newer energy that is coming in. I also pulled the community card with the Kipper and we have the Ace of Cups. Again, new love, new emotions, a renewal of love. Um, it could be igniting of emotional feelings too. Does not always have to come from a person because it's clarifying with the community. This could be coming from your community, like a resurgence or renewal of love within the community. People helping people, people coming together. You could be lending a helping hand within your community that really fills your heart up because this is that new moon in Virgo energy, a time to give rather than to take. You could be donating, you could be volunteering, you could be doing something that extends your compassion and love, which is in return overflowing your heart. Um, and then we got imprisonment, which was clarified by the hermit. So I also got here with this, and I said this earlier, this could be somebody also lending some sort of advice or a helping hand to somebody who may be in prison or locked up. Um, everybody's situation is different. This could be somebody um, <clears throat> not necessarily donating to prisons, but donating their time. So if somebody's going to speak in prisons or uplift that type of community, this also could be, let's say it's not someone in literal jail, somebody giving some sort of wisdom or advice to somebody who is going through some sort of mental restraint. Okay. Somebody who's very in their head. It could even be mental illness illness or somebody's going from a, to a very tough time. Aries, if this is you, this could be a situation here where you are stuck in your head and there's no forward movement and you have to dig deep within yourself to find that light. And it shows here in the hermit energy, she has a flashlight right here to guide the way. So there is some sort of guidance here of somebody who is stuck or caged, either in a literal sense or mental sense. Okay. The Hermit is a very beautiful card to come out with that imprisonment because that means somebody is going within or using some sort of higher wisdom to help guide someone or you, yourself out of a caged or stuck mentality, okay, um, <clears throat> or situation. So I started off with the Celtic Cross and I got a few cards in. The very first card of this energy for the next 48 is the Seven of Cups. This is coming off to me as confusion, not knowing which option to take, maybe even getting a lot of influences that are causing emotional reactions to you over this next weekend, next 48 hours. This could also be you trying to make a decision, but you're too in your head and you're not grounded enough to make that decision. And if you can't make a decision, then you can't move forward. And that's the challenge card moving forward, the chariot, cancer energy. And if you see here, you did receive new moon or full moon in cancer, a personal issue reaches a resolution. Uh, resolution. 
So Aries, this does feel like with inside of you, your own head, your own emotions, something here where you're kind of scattered or there's some sort of illusion here that you're taking on and it's very challenging for you to move forward or get past this this weekend. So this could be different for a lot of people. Like let's just say somebody comes or presents a, a love offer to you and you're not as sure, you're not sure if it's authentic or it's true. So you don't know if you can move forward with it. That's just one in a, one example. Okay. Um, what spirit wants you to focus on is the 10 of wands. There's something that you are carrying with you by yourself and the load is too heavy. You are very burdened by some sort of energy here and you either need to ask for help or you need to drop this load. And I say drop it, I mean, just release it because it's too heavy of a burden for you to carry by yourself. This usually means that you've been putting in a lot of hard work and a lot of hard effort into doing something or creating something. And I mean, maybe you're just working hard, but spirit is saying like, it's time for you to drop it for a little bit to release this because things are too heavy. This could also be connected to the seven of cups of why it is that you're not receiving clarity in a situation. You could be too, working too hard or focusing too hard on a particular area in your life. All right. So it's time for you to drop that. Let's see what's happened in the past for you, Aries. What happened in the past? Uh, have you get here? In this situation, what happened in the past for you, Aries? Four of Wands. I feel like this is saying here, Aries, in the past, there was a level of stability, happiness, joy. You may have lost that for a little while, and you're working very hard to get back to this feeling of joy and stability, happiness, celebrations here. Even if, even if it's a relationship sense where this is a new romantic cycle, you are trying to renew love in your life or renew, um, renew the love within a specific person or partner if you're already in a relationship. And you could be trying to to get back to that place. There could be some sort of confusion around that. And for the people who are single, this could be just you trying to get back to a place of peace, happiness, joy, you know, where things were stable and secure. There's a lot of confusion or illusions going on around you right now, and you don't know what is real or what from what. So what is crowning Aries here in this situation? Wow, that card bounced. The two of wands. I think there is going to be clarity coming, so you will be able to make a decision and move forward because I'm seeing this person move forward. Like there's two options they could take and they're choosing one. It's very clear what option they want to take and then they're going to move forward. So this is an action card, um, a movement card. So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of fire energy, a lot of wands energy here. You're making a decision and you're moving towards that decision. So it seems like some sort of clarity is coming in. What's coming towards Aries? And the future of this energy here. Ooh. Well, the first card that came out is the Queen of Wands, confidence. So I like this because if you're starting off with the Seven of Cups, that means that you're not very confident in an emotional sense and you're not very confident in making some sort of decision. You may be burdened with some sort of illusion where you can't really tell which way to go. The Queen of Wands is saying in the future, you are going to regain your confidence, which is going to allow you to create and manifest here. Okay. Two other cards flipped over. Let's see what those are. Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, receiving some sort of good news about money, contracts, work here. Um, this could also be a new beginning and a job offer here. The Ace of Wands, this is just literally receiving some sort of exciting news. So that came out with the Queen of Wands. I'm going to put it back though because it flipped over in the deck. But I will say this, Aries, it does feel like I keep hearing you getting your mojo back of a sense or your confidence back, your vigor back. And this is going to bring in a lot of creative opportunities for you or one in particular. The energy you're currently in is the king of cups very emotional energy here a lot of emotions going on with inside of you you're trying to get grounded you're trying to see what's what from what um this could be a love energy as well with the king of cups but it's, it's a very strong emotional sense king of cups is very intuitive as well but you're feeling the way this intu intuition is coming off to you is that you're feeling these feelings very deeply so you're feeling something a lot right now aries that is scorpio energy Let's see here. What's in the your environment? The Ace of Wands. It did come out and it fell right on top of the Queen of Wands again. So I do feel like there's some sort of situation that you're working through this weekend and you're going to regain a sense of confidence. This is going to allow some sort of manifestation to come through for you with the Ace of Wands. Now, that could mean that it's a new exciting beginning in love 
romance, a new exciting beginning. And I mean, this could be a sexual encounter for all intents and purposes. If that's what you're manifesting. This could be a new job or a new creation here that's coming in, but it's exciting and it's new. Okay. And it is coming. And I feel like it's coming from your own doing, but it's, it's, it comes after you regain a sense of confidence in yourself and your abilities. Whoop. So your fears here, you got the 10 of cups in reverse. You got the seven of swords, eight of wands, <clears throat> and the four of swords. So all of these came out here in hopes and fears here. Aries, I feel like this is a situation here where you don't want to, if this is a romantic relationship, I feel like you don't want to get got again. Like there could be something coming in very quickly to where you can't tell if it's real or not. And you're just hoping and praying that you're able to see the truth and have clarity around a situation. You may have dealt with somebody in the past who was a liar, deceit, deceitful. They tricked you and somehow or another, the relationship ended because of deception and maybe someone having a lot of options. So if some of you are encountering a new romantic relationship, you're just hoping and praying that this person is authentic and they're true. And then most importantly, that you'll be able to tell whether or not they, that is the case, right? Without having to get hurt. Same thing with any type of opportunity that could be coming in for you. It seems like something's coming in rather quickly or could take you by surprise. Tell us about the outcome in this situation for Aries. The Eight of Pentacles, paying attention to the details or seeing something for what it is. So you're able to kind of build upon that and get out of it what you need to get out of it. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles is an apprenticeship card, or um, this could be you working on your own craft. Eights also talk about self abundance as well. So I feel like you're paying attention to the details of something so it can grow. Um, I, it, it really feels like you're getting clarity on a situation so you can build upon something. Eight of Pentacles is also wealth and abundance being created. Now you got the seven, I mean, you got the six of cups at the bottom, the six of swords, excuse me, at the bottom of the deck. There is going to be some sense of clarity after a difficult situation and peace is what I'm getting. Let's clarify, um, these cards and we got through this and see what is the seven of cups here that is creating some sort of illusion around aries or it's making them is making it hard for you to make a decision let's take a look at that seven of cups and see what that is what is this making it hard for you to make a decision aries making i'm hearing fear confused but it's an illusion something is an illusion and you're afraid this could be this eight of swords energy where you get this wisdom or this light with the hermit. Tell us about the seven of cups here for Aries. Yeah, the star card. Whatever it is, you're going to release it. I feel like you're worried about something coming true or something happening for you. With the seven of cups and the star card, this is talking about a release and hope, wish fulfilled here. You get receiving some sort of recognition and also reward or this is also a wish fulfillment taking place for you. So you could have been really in your head about something. And guess what? It happens. It turns out okay for you. Um, tell us about the Ten of Wands. Yeah, Spirit is really asking you to let something... Like you're working too hard at something that is already coming in for you with the Ace of Wands. It's a new beginning. It's already coming in for you. And it's like... You need a break, Aries. You need a break. Like, I'm serious. Like, with the Ten of Wands, somebody has been working very hard. Spirit's like, put it down so this new beginning can happen. You have the Ace of Wands and what you should focus on and the Ace of Wands that is what's surrounding you. So let's take a look at that Ace of Wands. Temperance. Balance. Okay? Yeah. Being patient. It is coming. I feel like you work. I guess said that. I keep repeating the same thing. It's like you're working too hard at something and it is coming. They're wanting you to rest. They're wanting you to find balance. They're wanting you to get out of your head because there is something that is coming in for you. But the more that you put this, exert this effort into it, it's almost like you could slow it down. Tell us about the Queen of Wands and the future energy for Aries. The death card. So that means that there's change and transformation here. Because of your confidence, because of you like being assured of what you've created, it's coming in. The death card endings bring new beginnings. Strong Scorpio energy here. Tell us about the King of Cups, Aries energy. The devil here. This could be like a situation where there is some sort of strong hold 
and your emotional self and sense that you have to break free from. The devil can be an emotional obs obsession as well with something. It's like something's being bound. I'm seeing the Ten of Swords. Tell me about this Aries King of Cups. The Four of Cups. There's something that you're ignoring, Aries, that you definitely don't want to ignore. I mean, it's, this is clear to say, but it seems like it's in an emotional sense or it could be a person. Tell me about the King of Cups. Or there's some sort of stronghold. Yeah. So this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. There's something here that in an emotional sense, I'm just going to talk in energy, where it's like, very big emotions. Let's talk <laughs> very big emotions. Okay. Something that you're very, very emotional about, very strong feelings that you have about. And it's almost like you're trying to ignore it. Well, guess what? By you ignoring this situation that has such a strong emotional hold on you, you're giving it, I don't want to say, I don't want to say giving it more power, but it's like the moment that you face the beast, you're released. Does that make sense? Anything that you're trying to ignore or push to the side, but the thing is that you can't ignore it because the feeling is so strong. The moment that you face the beast, you release it and you release it in the most positive way because the outcome is the sun, you know? So it, it like, it's almost like you were fearful of something that you didn't need to be afraid of. And that fear alone is what is controlling you. It is controlling you, the fact that you're afraid of it. Now, I want to say this. When I first started this reading, pre, pre, pre time, because I've, I've done this three times now, I always pull a card for the pre-energy of the reading. And what came out in the Moonology, it didn't come out here, but it was Scorpio energy, and it was New Moon and Scorpio, and it said, work through your fears. And that is what is in your energy. Also, Scorpio energy with this King of Cups here, the Devil and the Four of Cups and the Sun. Work through your fears. Because on the other side of this fear, whatever it is for you, is a positive outcome. It turns out possibly better than you could have expected it to. But you're really, really in your head. And that's what this Seven of Cups is here. You're so much in your head that you don't even see that there's a blessing here that maybe you have to ask. Maybe you just have to face it um, and you can't really move forward until you do so. And that's why this is in a challenge position. I'm seeing that somebody is carrying a heavy burden, heavy burden here. All you have to do is release it and this blessing comes in for you. Okay, beautiful. Whatever this blessing is, it's going to change a lot for you or in your life. Okay, and I'm here in a very short period of time. Tell us about the eight of pentacles and the outcome here for Aries. the eight of wands, positive, positive messages, positive opportunities, um, positive offers. It's a pot, very, very quick moving energy as well. Very, very quick moving energy. It's like, once you see something clearly, I keep saying that with the eight of pentacles, once you see what this is or the details of a situation, it comes in very quickly. The wheel of fortune here at the bottom of the deck, something changes for you. Um, I want to pull one more here with the eight of pentacles and the eight of wands. We have the emperor here. So Aries, release control. Okay. We have the emperor that came in reverse here. Release control. Release control of a situation. Release, yeah, release the control. Because by you trying to control a situation, it's controlling you. Release the control. Release the fear of something. Yeah. Eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. Walking away from the emotions that do not serve you. Tell us about the two of wands here. That's crowning Aries. Tell us about the two of wands here. There's crowning Aries. So we have the six of pinnacles that came out, making a, de a decision, and then you're going to receive what you need. Receiving what you need here, financial blessings, two of swords, getting out of your head, a stalemate here, um, confusion, indecision here, five of wands, inner conflict is what's coming up here. You're fighting something, Aries. This is an internal battle that you're fighting. And it's like the minute moment that you make a decision, you receive the blessings or the monetary um, income. You know what else? The six of pentacles, we have this new moon and Virgo energy here. It is a time to give rather than to take. Your generosity is going to bless you. And I feel like that was the money message uh, that I just did a little while ago. So 
a time to give rather than to receive. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, too. It's like somebody's feeling unbalanced. Tell us about the four of wands in the past position. Seven of cups again in the hangman. Seven of cups in the hangman. An illusion again. That was the first card that came out. Feeling stuck. Trying to reach a place of peace, stability, and happiness. Not seeing something, too. You're not seeing something. Yep, the Nine of Swords. So you're really stuck in your head. A lot of anxiety could be around a home life or your stability. You're not seeing something. Ten of Swords. So I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to pull an angel therapy card here. What do we have here for Aries? What do they need to see? What help do they need right now? Spirit. What does Aries need? Give us two more cards. What does Aries need? Yes. One more card. What does Aries need? All right. There we have it. Earth Angel at the bottom of the deck. All right. So you have Archangel Raphael. The healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. You also have cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear yeah, that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. And then you have vegetarian and vegan. Fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. If you can, start your day, start your morning breakfast with fruit and vegetables, nothing else. Um, I'm telling you, it'll put you in a path to, and I mean, you can eat meat and whatever else for the rest of the day if you want to, but it starts your day off in such a high vibration with water, fresh fruits and veggies. If you want to eat veggies or just fruits, I've been doing it and I'm telling you, you're not going to be hungry. I do it before I work out. You're not going to be hungry. You're not going to be craving for those other breakfast foods. It really just starts your day in such a high vibrational set point. It really does. Um, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and I hope it helps for the next 48 hours. Take care. Bye.